Hey everyone, Dr. D here. I don't usually make videos like this, but I got some stuff I want to say, so let's get to it. First, importantly, uh, let's talk about that giveaway I was doing a few months back. Now, if you remember, that was for Replicant D Ignition, and we were having a competition for guessing the ratings, guessing the release date, guessing the difficulties, and so on and so forth. Now, the reason why it took so long to get to a winner at this point. Well, actually, we've known the winner for quite some time for the correct date, but I was waiting for a challenge chart, and it's pretty clear now that there is no challenge chart. It's possible that a challenge chart will come in the future, but until then, we're just going to give the giveaway to the person who got the date correct, and that person was, give a big hand, Red Agent 14. <laughs> Yeah, that was weird. Okay, so you're gonna get uh, the prize. I've actually already t uh, messaged him person personally to congratulate him already. He's gonna be getting a custom e amusement pass, and it'll be signed by his request by yours truly. Okay, moving on. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about <clears throat> uh, Project Delta. Some of you didn't even know what that was. You were unaware. So for those that don't know what it was, uh, I'll fill you in real quick. Basically, uh, last week on November 20th, uh, I and several, uh, actually over a dozen players, got together to AAA DDR Extreme uh, together, communitively. So the way we did that was uh, we we all started at the same time. We started tackling different songs and updating the list until we got them all. And I was really surprised. I thought that was going to take us maybe up to 12 hours or so, but no, about 19 players tackled it all in just seven hours. I was pretty impressed by that and it makes me feel like we can even do even better we can do even better next time which I'd like to say next time I would like to actually do another one <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy but December I mean it's actually it's December right now Jeez. <laughs> so yeah I'd like to do one later this month and the reason is uh, I know a few players they won't be able to uh, join if it's say January February and I myself am gonna get pretty busy but I was thinking like the November 20th, that was like a test run, and now we know how to run it a lot better. I think that we're going to give it a shot again soon, and uh, see see how the turnout is. If you want to know more about that, I suggest you follow the, the DDR Players forum on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below, and you can go there. Alright, uh, final topic I want to talk about is CAC, or KAC, or Konami Arcade Championship, the 5th championship oh, I'm not sure why I said chip I guess I'm hungry so uh yeah that's happening that's gonna be going on really soon and you know honestly I'm gonna say it right now I actually hope it's freaking impossible for me <laughs> uh, by that I mean the qualifiers I hope the qualifiers are so hard that I have no chance because if I have a chance it's gonna occupy a lot of my time and it's gonna be pretty stressful but if I know I have absolutely no chance to even get in the final round I can kind of just not worry about it <laughs> I know that sounds really lazy but uh, I work six days a week so it's pretty rough but um so let's talk about CAC the fifth right now um as a lot of you know it's starting real soon registration opens on December 3rd I'm guessing here's a prediction that they're gonna release the full step chart on December 3rd Right now, uh, there's two groups. There's Group A and there's Group B. Each group has three songs. So far, they've revealed one song from each group. In Group A, they revealed Magnetic Challenge, 17. And in Group B, they revealed Awake Challenge, 16. Now, the reason I said that is uh, when they first posted it, it was actually hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. They initially posted it was Awake Expert, the 13. I was like, really? Really? You're going to put a 13 in this qualifying round? I'm like, well, at least it's a nice break. I mean, it's like it's a given PFC. And not to mention, it's a 180 BPM song. Everyone's going to be getting under 10 perfects on that. It seems like pointless. You're going to put a magnetic challenge in there? I mean, Awake has really no effect. <laughs> It'll just change people's score by a few perfects, if anything. So uh, later, Konami issued a, read, or a tweet correcting it saying that it's in fact going to be the challenge 16 chart which again it'll be a little harder but <laughs> i don't know putting 180 bpm songs or 150 or 200 
in these tournaments. I actually am pretty against that. One of the reasons is because a lot of players don't have access to black or white machines and uh, anyone that plays seriously or competitively does already know that uh, white and black machines are prime for playing those BPM songs. So let's see what the list is on, on uh, December 3rd hopefully and that list will pretty much tell me if I'm going to enter or not. <laughs> But uh, let's make some more predictions because, you know, why not? So, well, let's see. Magnetic is listed as the third song in Group A. That could mean that it's the hardest of the group. And that would be pretty nice if that's the case. Because I remember that uh, Group A last year, the last song listed was Antimatter Challenge. And coincidentally, or not, Antimatter Challenge was the hardest song level 18 the other two songs listed before it were easier so if it's going by that trend and magnetic is the hardest and the other two are going to be easier in that group that's okay and if uh, group b let's say awake i'm pretty sure it's listed second my computer's just a little too far i can't check it so if that's a 16 we might expect a harder 16 for the third song and maybe or maybe a 17 and uh, if that's the case if honestly i'll, I'll say this right now if Magnetic Challenge is the hardest thing that they have to offer for the qualifiers, I'll feel not great, but I'll feel pretty good. I'm confident I can PFC Magnetic Challenge a few more times, though I will have to do it in a set. As you remember, you must play all of the songs in one set, so hopefully the other two songs are easier and I get a set where I PFC Magnetic and I got the other two songs. And if I can do that, it looks like I might have a chance. But like I said, this is all assuming Magnetic Challenge is the hardest they have to offer. Because currently, Magnetic Challenge is one of my harder PFCs that I'm able to get. Okay, so that's all, all for predictions. And if you'd like to know about the final round, I can already give you the answer. FIFEMS, he's going to win. And that's pretty much all you need to know. If you have any other questions, you can ask me a question in the description below. Thanks for watching, and oh, and I haven't forgotten about about the uh, request sets. I've just been falling a little bit behind over the past month, and honestly, I'm just really hard on myself. Uh, if I don't do really well, I don't really want to even do it. It's kind of like that. Now, it sounds like a cop-out, but let me explain. Uh, whenever I get a request set, I really want to do my best for it. Like, even the request sets that I have up already, some of those were filmed several times because if I'm not really happy with my performance I I won't even do it and like for example I got a request that right now someone's wanting me to play Egozium Challenge and I'm not gonna lie I can barely like you know get a solid B on it right now I think with practice I can get a A maybe a double A and eventually but right now I'm just I can't do 440 streams that's that's just honest that's being 100% honest I I struggle with uh measures longer than 8 if it's 200 BPM. That's just my limitation. So asking for an Egozium challenge, I want to do my best, but my best I feel is just not acceptable at this point. So I'm going to keep working on hard stuff and hopefully get better at that. And yeah, okay, this video is getting way too long. You probably already tuned out, but for those of you who stuck around to the end, I love you guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time.